you're in some pretty impressive form lately getting on the golf score sheet must be nice yeah i mean it's always good to get on the the score sheet um you know most importantly the teams uh Really playing well and creating a lot of chances, so um, obviously a really good game last Saturday um, and an uh, important game um, this Saturday, so continue to keep doing that. What's clicked for you? Because the timing's perfect, both for the ACL and World Cup coming up and also finals. I don't know, I mean, um, for me, you know, every, every time I step on the pitch, try to do my best. Um, I think just as a team, obviously we went through a bit of a, a hard patch, so um, I think we've, we've shaken that off and, um, you know, uh, as a whole team, we've really um, started to play really well. Uh, James, do you think about the Golden Boot? I mean, you're right up there amongst the leaders. Uh, is it something that crosses your mind, or is it something you just... Not, not really. I mean, for me, my position, I'm not an out-and-out -out striker. So, um, you know, to be scoring goals, it's obviously it's fantastic. Um, it's good for me, and obviously it helps the team a lot. But for me, you know, just, just keep playing every game take it as it comes and obviously um, you know, want to take as many opportunities as I can. You create an awful lot of chances as a team and you had a fair few opportunities yourself on Saturday night. Yeah. Was there a sense of frustration thinking we're not going to do this? You know? No, um, personally I always thought you know, we were going to, you know, as soon as we got one, um, you know, the rest would, would come. Um, obviously it was frustrating, I had a, a few opportunities and so did a few of the other boys but um, I think on that night you know, um, we worked really hard and, and the most important thing I've always said is that we're creating opportunities. If you're not creating the opportunities, then there's a problem. But we are, and um, you know, we took them when they came. For you, playing in the Champions League, uh, Asian Champions League, uh, what, what does it mean? Yeah, I think it's fantastic uh, for me, and obviously for the club. Um, you know, it's another six games guaranteed. Obviously, it's going to be a really uh, tough schedule, um, but we've got a, a good group here that, um, you know, even the ones that you don't see playing regularly uh, are playing really well at training and doing really well. So we've got a we've got a bit of depth as well. And how do you feel coming up against Marcello Lippi, ex World Cup yeah. with the Azzurri? Um, also, you know, they, they just signed Diamante as well, which um, you know I watched him last season um, with Bologna. He's a really good player. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, you know, the whole group is a, is a tough, but um, you know we're looking forward to that, and then we're going to you know test ourselves as much as we can against you know the best teams in Asia. 15, 15 games in eight weeks, training, flights, the whole lot. It's a massive schedule, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be difficult. But as I said, you know we've got good depth. Um, you know everyone's stepping up at training, and you know they can feel that. Um, you know it's, it's a really bon a big bonus for us to, to get into the Asian Champions League. It's not going to be easy, but you know we've got the the background staff. To, to they know what they're doing and then make sure we um, recover and rest and, and do the right things to, to be fit for the games. I guess the bonus is that those pushing for a World Cup berth get extra chances to prove themselves. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's on a different different stage. Um, I think it's going to be uh, really good for us. As I said, another six games guaranteed and obviously we're going to do the best we can and see how far we can go. Sorry, Broxy came to the rescue. Has he stopped <laughs> talking about it? No, he hasn't stopped talking about it yet, but um, you know, he doesn't score very often, so we'll give him that one. You've got 10 goals for the season so far. Do you see yourself as a threat for uh, soccer is contention and uh, starting football in Serie A? Yeah, of course. I mean, one of the main reasons coming back here is obviously to get back into the Socceroos. Um, that's that's obviously in the back of my mind and every Australian player's mind. But first and foremost for me is just keep keep playing well week in, week out, and um, you know keep putting the ball in the back of the net, and you know we'll see what happens. James, a big game Saturday, Adelaide, um, who've now leapfrogged you on the league table, and a bit of resonance for you being from South Australia. Um, what are your thoughts about this one? Yeah, I mean, um, it's fantastic for them. You know, they were under the pump a lot at the start of the season. Um, they've been doing really well. It's going to be a tough game for us. For me, um, obviously, it's going to be just a, a, another Saturday game. Um, we'll, we'll keep training hard on the pitch and, and go into it, um, you know, wanting three points. So um, it's going to be a tough game because they're, they're in a bit of form at the moment. But I think we've picked up as well and, and it's going to be a good game. Given the injuries down back, are you worried that Contreras wasn't training today? No, no, um, he's got a bit of a knock, so I think it's just a bit of bone bruising. So I'm sure um, you know they, they'll look after him and he'll be fine. And Finkler, you're expecting him to miss out again on, on this Asian Championship? I mean, that's that's not up to me. Obviously, um, you know, every every single boy wants to get out there and and play. Um, obviously, he's a good player and he's, he's done really well. So I'm um, I'm sure um, you know whoever steps on the pitch will, will do their best. People talk about your return to form and whatnot. Do you think you're a victim of your own success a little bit at the start of the season? And he started off with a bang, and maybe you were judged more harshly then. No, I mean, for me, uh, as I said, every game I, I play, I, I try to do my best. I think um, I didn't see my dip in form so much. Obviously, we went through a, a bit of a rough patch, you know, the whole team. Um, you know, uh, so 
obviously, uh, you know, because I'm back scoring, everyone thinks I'm, I'm back in form. Um, but for me, as I said, just, uh, just I've been just trying to do the same thing week in, week out. Obviously, getting fitter, getting stronger, and I think my fitness is pretty, pretty much up there now. So, um, you know, um, I think towards the end of the season is when you want to start to, to really uh, be at your best, and I think we showed, uh, showed that on Saturday night. And against the Mariners, you played that wide winger role up front, and yep. then obviously reverted back to midfielder against Montgomery. Are you happy in either of those positions? Yeah, um, you know, I just want to play. Obviously, um, you know, we've got to mix and match a bit because, you know, we've got a, got a few players in those attacking positions. Um, for me, as I said, uh, you know, either or. Um, obviously, I, I scored two playing out wide um, and I scored one playing as a number 10. Um, so, you know, for me, uh, wherever I play, I'll just, uh, you know, follow the formation we, we have and, and try to do the best. James, this game against Jinzu, the possibility there could be 30, 35, 40 million people watching the game throughout uh, Asia and also back here in Australia. It's a massive thing, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's, it's good for, as I said, it's good for Australia, it's good for the A-League, and we want to show what we can do and, and where the standard is. So, um, you know, um, you know uh, when you're on the pitch, you don't think about that. We're just going to try to do the best we can and um, hopefully uh, get some points. And what do you say? How do you handle, like, all those fights and everything like that? Because you're going to have a lot of time sitting on your ass on a plane. Yeah, I mean, um, it's going to be difficult, but, um, you know, we'll make sure we, uh, we uh, you know, get up and walk around and stretch and, and sleep and, and do the right things. As I said, the medical staff here is fantastic, so um, they know what we'll do.